Hello engineers, welcome to the new video of the course and in this particular video we are going to see that how exactly we are nullifying the effect of input bias current which is occurring at the uh, output side. So before coming to this particular point we will uh, quickly revise what all things we had studied about the input bias current. So we had seen its definition that is the definition of input bias current okay and this is the uh, formula for it that is uh, mod of IB1 plus of IB2 divided by 2 okay. Then um, for LM7441 it is 80 nano ampere okay and let me proceed further and then over here we had taken one example of inverting amplifier and therein what we had uh, seen is that see this is our expected output that is V out should be you no know, uh, minus of R2 by R1 times of V in okay so this is uh, you know uh, the expected output but uh, practically we are we are not getting that kind of output I mean we are getting this kind of output that is R2 by R1 uh, times of V in okay but with that we are also getting this particular error that is the uh, input bias current times of the R2 right so this is an error which we are getting over here and after that what we saw was that to nullify this particular error we just need to add one resistor over here okay to this particular terminal that is uh, to the non-inverting terminal and this particular resistor the value of this per uh, particular resistor it should be uh, you know R1 parallel to R2 so a parallel combination of these two resistor okay so this should be the value of R3. I hope you are able to understand this particular concept. Now let's see how exactly this particular error is occurring and how we can nullify that just by connecting uh, uh, the parallel combination of these two resistors. Okay, so for that we'll take one example. Let's assume that this is my inverting amplifier case, right? And our signal is one millivolt peak. That means two two millivolts peak to peak. That means something like this. See, two millivolts peak to peak, right? One millivolt above and minus one millivolt down. So the overall signal will be 2 millivolts peak to peak you just focus over here 2 millivolts peak to peak right great okay and this is the output that we are getting that is minus of rf by r1 times of vn plus of ib times of rf so this is the error that we are getting right uh, and for time being we'll assume that the uh, open that we are taking it is ad8030 okay so the open that we are taking or that we are considering so this particular open it is ad8030 and input bias current for AD8030 it varies from around 0 0.7 to minus to minus 2.8 microampere okay 0 0.7 to minus 2.8 microampere okay I'll just show you its uh, data sheet don't worry so let me go back and let me just show it to you the data sheet of 80, uh, AD8030 so, so yeah you see AD8030 data sheet okay I just zoomed it out okay so this is one website it, uh, okay and in that just come below and you see this particular page number three I am on to the page number three and yeah you you just look over here input bias current I hope this particular part is visible see input bias current and there are actually two types NPN and PNP so for NPN its range is from 0 0.7 to 1.3 microampere and for PNP let me change the color yeah for PNP you see for PNP it is from uh, minus 1.7 to minus 2.8 microampere okay minus 1.7 to minus 2.8 microampere getting my point okay and this is the typical value if you want you can check uh, let me just take it above yeah you see over here this is my typical value okay typical value so generally we prefer to take typical value where it is just a second yeah generally we prefer to take typical value so for PNP type just remember uh, the value can be minus 1.7 microampere just uh, just focus upon this particular part for PNP type its value can be 1.7 microampere as you can see over here okay now let's come over here onto our blackboard and yeah we all know this particular formula as we had already deduced it right minus of RF by R1 uh, instead of RF we had R2 over there right minus of R2 by R1 times of Vn plus of IB times of RF so let's solve this particular entire thing out over here so uh, see uh, if you are not consider if you are not considering uh, the input bias current so our V out will be so V out will be you know it will be minus of RF times of R1 so what is my RF RF is 1 mega ohm so that means 10 raised to 6 right so minus of 10 raised to 6 divided by 1 kilo ohm which is 10 raised to 3 times of my V in my V in is uh, 1 millivolt peak or you can also write it as 2 millivolt peak to peak or 1 millivolt peak it's up to you 1 millivolt I'll just write it in this way only 1 millivolt peak voltage right 
so this will be around you know minus of 10 raised to 3 times of 1 millivolts vp so it will be 1 volt right so 1 volt vp 1 volt vp or 2 volts peak to peak this is what i can write or 2 volts peak to peak 2 volts peak to peak getting my point 1 volt uh, peak or 2 volts peak to peak so you see over here this is 1 volt okay this entire thing it is 1 volt and below as well we have 1 volt that is minus so overall amplitude will be 2 volts peak to peak this is what i wanted to conclude okay so this is the expected or the desired result or the desired output right this is the expected or the desired output right but in reality we are going to get this kind of output wherein our signal will be shifted by uh, minus 1.7 i'll come to this particular po point at why exactly it, it is happening so now for that you see what i'll do this is my output again i'll just write the entire formula that is v out will be equivalent to minus of rf times of sorry minus of rf divided by r1 times of v in right plus of ib times of rf right rf or r2 whatever you want to say so its output or the value for this is nothing but this only that is 2 volts peak to peak or 1 volt pp right so i'll just write 2 volts peak to peak and along with that we are getting some error so what can be that error let's calculate so ib for uh, ad8030 okay uh, the version that is available onto the lt spice lt spice it is pnp type okay so we will take minus 1.7 microampere okay minus 1.7 microampere this is the value you can check again in the data sheet you see minus 1.7 microampere for pnp type okay so it is minus 1.7 uh, microampere times of what is my rf it is 1 mega ohm right so mega and micro will get cancelled and what we essentially get is this that is minus of minus of let me use it uh, let me just draw it properly so over here we will get minus of wait wait just a second let me draw it properly let me sorry let me just uh, arrange it properly the entire thing so that you shouldn't get confused over here this is my two volts of signal two volts pick to pick this is my you know expected output or this is what i want and this is the error that i'm getting that is minus of into bracket minus of 1.7 volts 1.7 volts okay so if you look very clearly what exactly is this if you look very clearly what exactly is this so you see uh, you know this is my expected or the desired result let me move it little above okay something like this and let me move this as well little above so you see over here you know this is my expected or the desired result expected let me just highlight it expected or desired desired result but along with that you know i'm getting certain dc offset voltage as well okay so you see over here this is you know like a constant voltage this is like a constant voltage right this is like a constant voltage or a constant dc voltage okay you see this particular voltage it's like a an error obviously it's an error but if you look if you look very clearly okay it's like a dc a pure dc signal okay dc offset voltage okay dc offset voltage but since it is occurring at the output side so we generally term it as an output offset voltage or out output dc offset voltage which comes for op amp okay and we don't want this kind of signal okay getting my point we really don't want this kind of signal so this is like an error to us so let's try to check out just by simulating this particular circuit onto the lt spy software so I'm, i'll just simulate this particular circuit just a second where it is yeah i'll just simulate this uh, this particular circuit over here and let's check out you know uh, what output we will get over there so let me go on to the lt spy software yeah you see this is my 1k resistor that is r1 rf is nothing but my r2 which is of 1 mega ohm this is ad8030 the supply voltages are plus 15 and minus 15 respectively okay and for time being what i'll do i'll just uh, you know uh, delete this particular resistor and i'll just you know plug it directly to the ground that is the non-inverting terminal to the ground and you see my signal is of 1 millivolt let me just show it to you yeah you see my signal amplitude is of 1 millivolt vp okay not talking about the overall amplitude that is peak to peak i'm just talking about the one half so one half is of one millivolt and i'm taking frequency of you know thousand hertz that is one kilohertz okay and now 
let's try to run this particular circuit uh, yeah you see this kind of circuit let me just zoom it out so this is my output okay and this is my input the green color is my input signal and the uh, blue color is my output signal okay so let me just uh, zoom it out yeah you see my input and output signal so my input signal it is starting from zero volts it is going to one millivolt and it is again coming back to minus one millivolt right so i am amplifying this particular signal with the gain of what with the gain of thousand right if you could see very clearly the gain of this particular uh, signal it is of thousand right gain of this particular signal it is of thousand so this is my gain right so at the output side i should get one volt peak that means from zero see from zero obviously the signal will be inverted because this is my inverting amplifier so from zero volts it should go down all the way up till minus one volt peak and again from zero volts it should come back to plus one volt uh, vp right so plus one volt so or the overall amplitude will be two volts peak to peak right two volts peak to peak so this will be my overall amplitude this is the expected result but you see at the output side the signal it is starting from minus 1.7 volts okay so this is the output signal we we are getting okay the amplitude the overall amplitude will remain same that is two volts peak to peak but you know there will be certain offset the signal will move down because of this input bias current and you can clearly look over here uh, the signal is actually starting from around 1.7 volts okay the signal it is actually starting from 1.7 volt just a second let me move my cursor somewhere over here just a second somewhere over here let me move this over here yeah you see my signal it is starting from around minus 1.7 volts okay somewhere over here okay so from here only my signal is getting started yeah minus 1.69 which is quite closer to minus 1.7 volts okay at zero seconds so basically what i want is that my signal should start from zero volts but my signal you know it is starting from minus 1.7 volts so there is a straight a gap okay okay there is straight gap or there is what i can say is that there is there is an offset voltage okay as, or an offset dc voltage that is present over here okay and you can clearly look over here the circuit diagram which i had drawn over here right the circuit diagram which i had drawn over here getting my point okay if, even if you look very clearly over here as well you see uh, the input signal it is starting from zero volts but my output signal it is starting from minus 1.7 volts and this is what i wanted to convey to you all guys or I, or i wanted to show you all guys you see this is what we had done the calculation this is like an error like uh, right our signal should start ideally from zero volts but it is starting from minus 1.7 volts okay as as i had shown over here now how we are going to counter this particular issue okay so this particular issue can be countered by just you know plugging the resistor over here just a second yeah just by plugging a resistor over here to the non inverting terminal and its value should be the you know parallel combination of these two resistors that is r1 and r2 or r1 and rf right so if you uh, you know do this uh, particular particular calculation the value would be quite closer to 1 kilo ohm okay the value will be quite closer to 1 kilo ohm so r3 i can take it as 1 kilo ohm okay not exactly if you if you do this particular calculation it won't be exactly 1 kilo ohm but it's fine because it's you know value or its magnitude will be you know more or less same as 1 kilo ohm so that's why i took uh, 1 kilo ohm right so now let me make certain changes over here you see there isn't any resistor over here now i'll just connect one a uh, resistor over here so let me just cut this wire over here sorry let me cut this wire over here and let me just uh, connect one resistor over here of 1k yeah and now let me just connect it with the non inverting terminal yeah and now let me just can uh, just connect resistor of 1k i'll just click on enter click on okay okay now the moment i run this particular circuit you just check the voltage that is coming over here okay the moment i uh, the moment i uh, run this particular circuit you just check the uh, voltage that is you know getting displayed over here so now let me run it all right so you see over here now my signal it is starting from zero volts now my signal it is actually starting from zero volts you see now my signal just a second now my signal it is starting from zero volts and you see it is going uh, till minus one volts and it is going up till plus one volts and this is what we expected okay this is what we expected or this is what this is what we should expect right minus one volt plus one volt okay i hope you are getting my point again i'll just quickly revise what all things we had studied so you see in the uh, previous uh, execution what we saw was that the input bias current was giving certain error and for ad8030 
for pnp type it was minus 1.7 microampere typical value right you should always consider the typical value so this is like an error right this was like an error so that means a dc offset voltage we were getting and uh, along with that this is the signal which we were expecting or which we were desiring at the output side which we were getting right so we, re we really don't want this this particular error signal okay so to counter this particular issue we just connected one resistor r3 which should be the parallel combination of these two resistors and what we uh, got at the output side we are getting the expected result or the expected signal that is something like this right 0 volts to 1 volts okay so this is how we actually counter the input bias current issue that we were facing okay and i really hope that you understood now the concept of input bias current and how exactly we are going to counter that just by connecting this particular resistor r3 okay to the non-inverting terminal and the value of this particular resistor it 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 is an it is a parallel combination of r1 and r2 okay great so i really hope that you understood this particular concept okay so if you are enjoying this kind of session from me then you make sure to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel okay and if you have any doubts anywhere just make sure to ask those particular doubts in the comment section or maybe if you are watching this particular video on udemy then you make sure to ask uh, that particular doubts in the communication section i will be happy to help you out there so thank you for listening me patiently i'm ending this video over here thank you